My name is Nicola Hamilton, and I'm the founder of Issues Magazine Shop, which is a retailer of independent magazines from around the world. We got a stopgap ramp to make our space as accessible as possible. We have one of those classic Toronto single steps up into our space, and the ramp helps alleviate that barrier as much as possible. Our experience with the ramp has been really amazing. The process of, of getting a ramp was really easy. It came quickly. We were thrilled when it showed up, and the color blue matches our, our color blue perfectly. Our customers have given us feedback about the ramp. They're really thrilled to see it. We actually shared when the ramp arrived. We shared a little video. On, on Instagram and got a ton of response, which was amazing to see. Our customers are mostly designers, a good chunk of graphic designers who take accessibility pretty seriously. One of my favorite stories about the ramp is it arrived just before we started hosting a magazine issue launch parties. And so two of the publications who hosted parties here were based in Montreal and they'd not seen stopgap ramps before and they'd been struggling with similar obstacles, the sort of single step into their space. So they were pretty excited to see a potential solution. When we were opening and fixturing the shop, we thought a lot about how folks with wheelchairs or strollers might be able to navigate a really small space like this. It's a long space, but it's quite, quite narrow. And accessibility played a big role in how we thought about that. As a trained graphic designer, accessibility is a large part of what we think about day to day. So it was definitely embedded in my thinking and making sure we had enough space in the shop for a stroller to move around, for a wheelchair to move around and maneuver even in the small space was important. So we sort of situated our big table off to one side and tried to make it as wide as we could. We would love to make our bathroom accessible if that was ever possible. We're lucky it's on the first floor already, so it is partially accessible, but it's not very big, so maneuvering in it is really challenging.